voice today. I'm just on the tail end of uh, getting over the flu that I've had for a number of days. And so my throat feels like somebody's kind of sandpapered it overnight. And, uh, and I think it's kind of cool. I kind of feel like I sound like this guy. Oh dear, how oh sad, never mind. But my lovely, lovely wife Natasha says I sound a lot more like this guy. Well, don't rip anyone apart, first of all. That's me. So what are you going to do? Anyway, so this, uh, this week I've got something kind of cool for you. It's very pommy British thing for you. And uh, just a little idea that I'm going to uh, uh, give to you all about the upcoming royal wedding. So you would have seen that uh, Prince Harry and uh, that uh, American chick, Megan, whatever her last name is, are getting married. This is the lovely couple just here. She is very, very easy on the eye. I think you'll agree. And, uh, and he's obviously a prince and a billionaire, so that's kind of cool too. But... Uh, he would like it, I am sure, if you made some money on the back of their wedding. So I want to give you an easy way of doing that here in Australia. And here's what it is. So if we go look at what happens in royal weddings, and the last royal wedding was on the 29th of April 2011, Prince William and Catherine Middleton, and you all remember uh, that lovely, lovely scene with... Pippa Middleton and her fine, fine British ass, uh, which caused uproar right around the world. But the good thing about that wedding, uh, other than Pippa's ass, was the amount of memorabilia that got sold along with that. Not just in the UK, but right around the world. Turns out the royals are actually pretty popular around the world. Um, and so there will be big opportunities on the back of that. So if we come over to, let's come over to our, what are we gonna go over to, Neil? What the fuck are you doing? Here we are, uh, Google Trends. Please forgive my brain, a little bit uh, fuzzy up here still. Google Trends, and you can see that uh, if you search, type into Google Trends the search term royal wedding, uh, you get nothing, 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 up until that kind of period of time when they were getting married. And then there's a crazy amount of traffic that happens, a crazy amount of enthusiasm online for all things royal. So this is the perfect time, of course, for you to be selling royal wedding related memorabilia. Uh, a lot of people would have made a lot of money selling royal wedding, royal wedding, royal wedding uh, mugs and things like that, uh, royal, royal, royal flags even and things like that. Uh, so that would have been a unique opportunity to get yourself something and get yourself selling. So I think that's going to happen again. And if we take a look on Merchant Words, my good friend Merchant Words, even now, all that time after the royal wedding. There's still loads and loads of search traffic for Pippa Middleton. Let's do a search for Royal Wedding. There you go, Royal Wedding, blah, blah, blah. Thank you very much. And uh, Royal Blue Wedding, Royal Wedding, 32,000. Dresses, dresses, rings, 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 bands, decorations, shoes, favors. Interesting one. The Royal Wedding favors, that's a... Very interesting one. You're bound to get all those uh, people who want to get married and have some royal influenced wedding favors. But I think the the easy thing is things like memorabilia. So uh, mugs, plates, rings, uh, things like that. And possibly even something like flags as well. You might get some a resurgence of Britishness. Uh, in Australia with some people putting British flags up. Who knows? I know that that will certainly happen in the UK, of course. So if you wanted to sell them uh, in the UK, that's a bloody brilliant idea. I'm not sure that there will be such a big uptake of that in Australia. But uh, if you're thinking of flags, then you've got the 2018 FIFA World Cup coming up this coming year. 
and uh, Australia is, of course, in the World Cup. They're in Group C, I think, with Denmark, France, and Peru, from memory. And, uh, and so there will be a big uptick in flag sales of Aussie flags around that World Cup. So that could be something for you to go take a look at too. Anyway, so uh, my throat's bloody killing me, so I'm going to tie this up. But uh, Royal Wedding, there will be opportunities for you to sell things here in Australia on the back of that. Mugs, cups and the like. Be sure to get onto it and think of flags as well for the upcoming 2018 uh, World Cup. This is Neil with a drag queen voice signing out. Speak to you soon. Bye.